Hey Donald, what's on my to-do list today? Neil, my friend, it's Donald J. Trump here. And I've got a tremendous task for you today. Absolutely tremendous. Listen closely. It's on your to-do list, and it's going to be the best to-do list you've ever seen, believe me. You're going to create a clickbait video, the most spectacular clickbait video with, let's just say, a questionable Trump voice clone. People are going to click on it. They won't be able to resist. It's going to be huge, just like everything else we do. A bit lengthy, a bit over the top, but you get the idea. Hey, everyone. I just thought I'd put out a quick video today on how you can give your agents... Uh, a voice. Uh, I use Eleven Labs. Um, that's the AI voice platform of choice. Um, and what better voice to give your agent than the president-elect angry orange man? Um, as you can probably tell, it's not exactly a direct replica of Donald's voice. It's because uh, you're not allowed to do that. They make you... Uh, you can't just upload audio of Trump because they, they then make you verify it by speaking a specific sentence to the cameras. Uh, so I just had to go in an experiment and trying to design some voices until I got one that came somewhat close. Um, I'll go into Eleven Labs in a little bit. I'll just uh, explain this flow here. So this is the exact same agent as I built in the my last video. It's a general personal, personal assistant agent that has um, tools to access my calendar, my emails, my to-do list, and a few other tools. Um, I've just removed, I had some other things here down to the marketing department, sales department. I've just removed those as they were just a, a, bit, of a, a bit of a demo. And I've added in this branch up here, which is um, the bit that speaks back to me in Donald Trump's voice. So this is an open AI module, which I've called Trumpify. Uh, the quote is simple, it's just simple. This is a message sent to Neil. Please make it sound like it came from Donald Trump. Go over the top with the stereotypes, don't lose or change any key info. And then I put this bit in as well, because it was a few times it was including asterisks around um, email titles and things. Uh, and it was saying them out loud, it was saying like asterisk, asterisk. Uh, and I don't think even the real Trump would be that stupid. Um, and then it goes into Eleven Labs uh, through their specific uh, node in NAN, and you just pick the um, pick the voice you want. I've got old New York man five, um, and you send the the text in from the OpenAI module, um, and and that's it. It spits it out, and then you just uh, send an audio message in Telegram. You take the, the take the binary file from Eleven Labs and sends it back to Telegram. Um, so let's have a quick look in Eleven Labs. So the way I did this was, I went to, go to, went to add a new voice, and you can go to voice design. And it gives you a prompt to describe what kind of voice you're looking for, and then some text for it to say. So I just came up with, um, with this, and, and this. So then, a 77-year-old blunt, no-nonsense New Yorker from Queens, speaks with confidence, has a slight cold, speaks at a low register, Sounds a bit stupid and macho. That's the best I could do to try and describe Donald. And here's some text to preview. So then you hit generate voice. It's going to give you three voices. I had to cycle through about a hundred voices earlier today to try and find one that was even close to sounding like Trump. Um, I am the greatest personal assistant known to man. Super good. Tremendous. I am the greatest personal assistant known to man. Super good. I am the greatest personal assistant known to man. Super good. So they're all terrible. Um, so imagine me going through that a hundred times. Um, until I got one that was good. But um, yeah, so that's that's that. Um, and yeah, you, you plug it in there and then you've got uh, your agent's got a voice. Um, just on Eleven Labs as well, the other thing I was doing earlier was <clears throat> I created uh, a professional clone of my voice by uploading the audio from my previous five or six YouTube videos. Uh, and it's created um, a clone of my voice so I can just give it text and it will read it out in a, what's a very good approximation of my voice. Hi everyone. Apologies for the delay since my last email. I've been busy playing around with my new favorite tool, N8N. So I just threw in the text from my last email I sent out. 
uh, and it does a pretty good job. Um, I'm going to be playing around with a lot more. Um, now I've got this voice done, um, you can also use a service called HeyGen um, to create video clones of yourself. Um, and until recently, you couldn't use HeyGen's API unless you were on the enterprise plan, and that was like super expensive. But they've recently changed their API pricing, so they've got a specific API um, pricing section now. So you can use the API from like I think it's a hundred dollars a month. Uh, so I'm going to be doing some videos on that soon because I really want to create some uh, large-scale, personalized, individualized video messaging um, from me uh, without having to actually sit here and film them. So. That will be coming out in the next few weeks. So I'll just um, I'll show another. I'll bring up Telegram. I'll just show another example um, of using this tool. Um, so as, as I say, the different tools it can do. This was fully explained in my previous video. So if you want a much more in-depth uh, explanation of how all this works, then watch my previous video. Um, but basically, we can create events, um, get get events, send emails, get emails get tasks, create tasks. So um, let's ask Donald to create a task for me. Hi Donald, can you create a task for me please for later today uh, to vote for Kamala Harris? Neil, listen, nobody knows to-do lists better than I do, believe me. I've just added the incredible task, vote for Kamala Harris to your amazing list for today. It's absolutely tremendous, really a tremendous task. If there's anything else, anything at all you need, I'm talking the best request, the greatest, everyone says so, feel free to ask. We're gonna do great things, Neil, really great things. And then if we look at my to-do list, there you go, vote for Kamala Harris. There you go, thanks Trump. Um, okay. And let's just do one more. Um, hey Donald. Can you please create an event for today at 8 o'clock p.m. to make America great again? Neil, my fantastic friend, listen up. I put together an absolutely tremendous event called Make America Great Again. It's happening today at 8 p.m. and believe me, it's going to be huge. If you need anything else at all, just let me know. We're talking about the best, the biggest, the most incredible event you can imagine. That's enough, Donald. Uh, and you can see, there you go, 8 o'clock today, make America, make America great again. Should take about an hour by the sound of things. Okay. So that's all I really wanted to cover today. Again, if you want a much more in-depth breakdown of how this whole agent system works, then it's covered more extensively in my previous video. Um, so you can go and watch that. Uh, I'll also include the template for this updated version in the description or comments uh, below the video, uh, which you you can also get from signing up to my newsletter. Um, there's a couple of couple of very other videos I'm I've I've got that I'm going to be working on. Um, the one is as I mentioned on the um, using Eleven Labs and HeyGen for video avatar automation, so you can create a lot of video footage of yourself at scale without having to sit down and actually record it. Um, and then the one I've been working on this week is um, a customer support agent. That's where you can take messages from a user or emails from a user and then ultimately even phone calls from a user and it can speak with them and it can help in most cases. It can answer a lot of questions. It can interact with your database Perhaps if a, mem if a, a user wants to, like let's say you're a gym and you and they want to cancel their membership, they can do that completely using an agent. Um, there's a lot of different use cases, but I'm just going to be building out the kind of bare bones, which you can then plug in and give it as many tools as you need. But we'll get to that in the next video. For now, I just wanted to show you this silly little <laughs> Donald Trump assistant automation, uh, and I'll give you some proper stuff in the next video.